Jamie, thank you so much. Now, from Decatur, it was a procession to Officer Oberheim's final resting place. It went east onto I-72 and into Monticello and the cemetery there. People gathered along the route to pay their respects to the hometown hero. They were surrounded by hundreds of flags that were placed along the drive. And WCI3's Jared Farmer was in Monticello today. And Jared, people from all over the area were there paying their final respects. Mac, the streets were lined from Bridge Street all the way to the cemetery before the procession arrived. One Monticello native I spoke with says it's this type of rallying that shows what the community is all about. It's always been about community and everyone knows everyone here and so when something like this happens it's it's hard and it affects everyone but again we just want to be there to show our support completely for the family. It was like the world stopped in Monticello as the funeral procession came. One of their own, Chris Overheim, was killed in the line of duty. With hands over their heavy hearts, family, friends, first responders, and community members said their final goodbyes. Overheim, whose community knows him as a hero, is finally home. It was a somber moment for the community. Regina Rice, whose son is a fellow Champaign police officer, came from Philo to show support. She says this shows the level of gratitude Central Illinois has for Oberheim's service. It has been so neat this last week seeing all the support for our police officers. There have been some um, noisy voices in the last year, but I think they're a minority, and I think we love our police officers, and we need them, and we're thankful for them. Oberheim was buried in the Monticello Cemetery. Only his family, friends, and first responders were allowed to attend. Back to you guys. All right, Jared, thank you so much. And Officer Oberheim's partner, Jeffrey Creel, was also shot while responding to that same call. Police say he is now recovering at home.